Gail from Gail's Bookish Things, and I wanted to show you a very easy little favor you can make today for any occasion. Uh, a bridal shower, a wedding favor, even a birthday party or a fun little um, table favor at a brunch or something. We made these for my daughter's wedding, which was on April 13th. We took a book page, we stamped it, of course after gluing the back, and we inserted a packet of seeds. And the seeds were really inexpensive. We got these at Menards. Um, I saw them afterwards at the dollar store for a dollar or even, yeah, not a dollar, four for a dollar. So look around for seeds if you like that idea for your best bargain. But this wasn't, this wasn't bad. They're about 35 cents. Even though it says 59 there, they were cheaper. So the way you do these favors is very simple. I'm going to take out this packet to show you what I did and show you the process of folding it. Um, I used this book that I bought at a book sale and I just tore out a piece. Now I don't mind the rip edge. I like the effect that that gives. Um, I'm going to do a couple of them. It just gives it a little bit of a you know that aged, vintagey, weathered look that's uh, kind of fun to have. All we did was, I had my daughter-in-law and a friend help me assemble these. We took our seed packet and we folded the page around it. Very simple. We'll glue there and then you can fold up the bottom and glue there. Now there's another way of doing it. If you prefer this look where you don't have the bottom fold, all you do is, let me take a different one, rip out your page, first, is on top of the seed packet hiding this bottom fold. And then you, you would glue along the way, of course. And there, it's maybe a cleaner look. Um, as you can see, this one was done that way. But I also like seeing that bottom fold. Now I've done it quickly here and it's maybe a little sloppy. You can trim that up or be a little more precise as you're folding. It's really a matter of personal preference. So let's just take this one. I'm gonna grab my glue. This is the kind of glue I have been using lately. I first became aware of this glue when watching I'm a Cool Mom. Jessica Huffman does that channel and she is fantastic for ideas. She's so cute, she's very motivating, very sweet lady. Um, got tons of ideas from her and actually turned on to junk journaling from watching her video. So, there, we've glued it. It's very, very simple. You might want to let it dry for just a minute or two. You can clamp it if you wish. I like to use these Dollar Tree clamps and just hold things shut for a few minutes till the glue sets. But we will keep this brief. Seeing I need a little more glue there. So I'm going to open that up. But just a little bit more. By the way, this is a, a fun glue because it's got the small tip here. I have shown this before, but if you didn't see it, I will show it again, and this wide tip. So it makes gluing go really quick. It's a very um, easy glue to work with. It doesn't get all over the place. I don't feel like it washes off easily. It's clear, dries clear, and uh, the application of it is very simple and smooth. So. I enjoy that for most most projects I'm now doing with paper. So then what we did was we selected a stamp. We did hearts for my daughter's wedding favors, but what I want to do today is go to my little organization book here and find, oh, I already took them out. This is a great way to organize um, your stamp collections though. I'll just show that real quick. I just have the pocket pages. I ordered that from scrapbook.com. And I got this at Goodwill for like a quarter. So that was fun. It was hard to find the two binder 
two uh, ring binders. So I was glad to come across that, purely accidental. Since this is just generic, I'm going to select, like not for a wedding or a shower, I'm just going to pick this little flower. And if I can find my acrylic block, here it is. With these, the sticky side just goes on your acrylic block, if you're not familiar with that process. If you are, you will know how to do that already. I'm going to take the seeds out. And in this case, uh, we didn't stamp the top edge, but I want to stamp it on this since I'm featuring a flower. Um, I want to go ahead and do that and make it a little more springy, a little more fresh looking rather than vintagey looking. So I'm inking up the top. On the original one, as I just said, I did not do that. We all thought this look looked better for her occasion. And we stamped it in a vintage photo brown. We just did a heart. Here I'm going to ink the top with this Tim Holtz Moan Lawn Green. And then I'm going to take a, I think I'm going to do orange to give a nice cheery springy look to this. So if you were having a brunch, a Mother's Day get together, or maybe you want to assemble some of these for some moms you know, or people that are women that are special to you that have act in a mom type role, you might like putting together something like this for them and just giving them out at church or bringing them over to your neighbors or something just in honor of Mother's Day or birthdays or summer brunch or something. I'm going to take these little leaf add that on there. This is probably not as dark as I would like it to be, but you can see it uses the book page. It kind of has that vintage flavor to it, but a little bit more bright and springy. Here's the original one. Do words on there or any little stamp that suits your fancy. I'm going to cut a little bit of this ultra fine twine that I bought at Joann's. I have mentioned before too, they have the same thing at Walmart in the craft area. And it's cheaper than Joann's. So I will slide this in to give it a little structure. And then you just tie on your cord. You could use ribbon. You could skip this part altogether, but I like the little finishing touch that adding ribbon or twine or a bow to something adds. It just kind of makes it seem a little more special. And there you go. You have a, what, a five minute favor or small gift that you could make in quantity for very little cost. Um, I really think it would be a fun table setting gift. You know, if you're doing a brunch or a church event or a summer picnic, family reunions, just a little something like that might be a fun little take-home gift for your, your guests, for your friends and neighbors. So anyway, there you go. There's a seed packet mini gift, easy to do idea. And if you're just feeling creative, but you don't know what you want to do, get up one of your many books if you're a junk journaler like me you have all kinds of books without covers and you want to know what to do with pages this is a good idea for that also just a word to the wise glance quickly at your page and make sure there's no questionable material that you probably would not want to be handing out every so often I've done that and I've looked at what's written on the page and I'm like oh I don't know that I want to have that in my uh gift or on my junk journal page so just take a quick glance at that thank you all for joining me today we will see you next time and have a great day bye